If you've ever been on a putting green and haven't had a ball marker, then you might want to check this out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I like to go golfing every once in a while, and sometimes I find myself on the green, and I don't have a tee, a coin, or anything to mark my ball. And that can be really annoying, especially when someone's about to putt and you don't want your ball in the way. So I found this. It's by Putt Over, and it's a golf ball marker. And what's really interesting about this is that it attaches to the putter grip so that you always have it. Now, I wanted to check this out because I thought, wow. This might be a really cheap way to always have your ball marker with you. Now, I have actually checked out in the past, you can check out my other videos about it, about putter grips that actually have ball markers built in, but you actually have to replace the whole grip. It's not that easy. You gotta have the supplies to do it, and they are kind of expensive. You know, they can easily be 40, 50 bucks to do that. So this might be the most convenient, easy way to do it, and it's really, really cheap, you know, right? Obviously, like under seven bucks. Now, a couple things I was reading about this, which I think are true, is that it's really high quality, but it's really small. You can see how small this is. I would call it dime sized. Uh, it seems to be really high quality, like a milled aluminum. It's much nicer than I thought. You can see kind of the plug on the back here. It's kind of wide, so it should actually stick in the hole. It's got a little negative space, a little collar up here. So once you kind of push it in, it should stay there. The other thing about this is because it has a little pointy end there, you should be able to push it into the ground and push it all the way down so that it's flush. Now, my big concern with this, and it's not, an, not a major concern, is that once it goes in flush, because it's so small, because the edges of the ball marker here is so thin you actually might have to use your fingernails and kind of get it up or maybe even a tee to kind of dig it up i doubt that it's a huge deal and certainly kind of the loose dirt on the green is not going to hold something in too tightly but i thought we would check it out with this putter here this is a pretty standard putter grip and you can see here that there's a hole in the end so all golf grips have a hole in the end and that's really so when you put the golf grip on you're not trapping air inside but they can be really convenient because like i said right here we can just kind of push this sucker in there just like that, and it goes right in. And you can see here, it sticks out a little bit, so it's gonna be really easy to grab. But for me, that's not going to interfere. You know, some people might be worried that if you have something sticking out at the end of your putter, it's gonna interfere with your wrist or anything like that. But for me, not a problem. That never comes anywhere near where I am going to touch it. But then I never have to worry about getting up there and being like, oh, do I have a ball marker? Boom, I can just take this out, push it into the ground, mark my ball, pick it back up, put it right in here and always have it at the ready. So actually, I really like this. And I did pick this up in this kind of hot pink color because I thought that would stand out against the green. They actually do make it in like a, a bronze and a black, but I thought, man, if I put that down on the putting green, I might never see it again. So uh, you can get them in kind of some cool, funky colors as well. Like I said, six or seven bucks. It's a cheap way to always make sure that you have your ball marker with you. If you want to pick up a putt over ball marker for your putter grip, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.